Hey, what's going on guys? It's Kida here and power supply is the most used equipment in electronics. So, in last video I have showed you how you can build a smallest power supply that you can fit in your pocket. But today in this video we will be going to take a look at this B3606 6 amp power supply. So, let's get into it. Now, there are lots of power supplies available into the market. But one thing that catch my eyes is the lots of features that is available into this power supplies. This power supply has a display in which you can display the voltage, current, the power output, the watts per hour. You can buy this power supply in two versions. This particular version can able to handle 6 amps. The number is shown here. You can get a smaller version which can handle 3 amps P3603. Now this Chinese power supply has a PDF manual available online so links in the description guys you can read that out. Ok friends so here is the input jack to which you can supply voltage which is greater than 6 volts to 36 volts and you can get here at the output any voltage between 0 volt to 36 volts. Now the main job of the power supply is to supply the voltage but this power supply can not only supply the voltage but it will show you the live readings your output has and it can also show the current reading and by the multiplication of those two you can also see the power output reading which is very nice you don't need to connect an external voltmeter and current meter to get uh, these three readings so let's get on to the bench and see the features of this power supply so I'm going to use my computer switch mode power supply to power this power supply. Ok friends, so that's how it looks from the first boot. So you will see the voltage here and to turn on the input here you have to press the ok and you will see the red light is turned on and CV light is turned on. That means it is putting constant voltage output. So if you want to increase the voltage you can push this button decrease the voltage here and if you press ok again then here is the current you can see and right now i'm not consuming any current so it is showing zero current now to set the current limit you have to push this up and down keys so right now 920 milliamps is the current limit here is the watts per hour so onto the display you are seeing the voltage now to turn on this power supply you have to press the ok button and it will enable the output now you can increase and decrease the voltage using this up and down keys if you press ok again then you will see the current here now the bulb is consuming 83 milliamps and if you press up and down keys then here is the current limit now I have set it the current limit to 245 milliamps now this port will only enable 245 milliamps to come out and this feature is really handy to test your build circuit because if you enable a current limit and just give that much current then uh, say if there there is anything wrong then you will quickly see that this CC LED will come on and it is consuming the full current and by this way you cannot ruin your circuit and still detect the fault it's pretty handy to have now if you press ok again then you will see the power here now it is consuming 0.315 watts and here is the accumulated watts per hour capacity over time and if you press ok again this cycle just repeats ok guys so I have connected this white LED at the output and set it the current limit to 30 milliamps and as you can see if I increase the voltage here as you can see the voltage is now 11.2 volts set it to 11.2 volts but still since the current limit is turned on LED is only can able to consume 30 milliamps which is pretty good and as you can see the CC LED is turned on and you can turn off the output by using this set button and you can turn it on using this ok button now if you press set button and just set again then it will show these all dashes and it means that it has saved this voltage setting 
so when you boot up this power supply next time it will remember that setting and it will just tune it to that now this power supply can remember 9 voltage values and save into its memory and you can load this 9 values you can see save SA9 you can set this and press ok to save that value at this location ok so this power supply has a 3 special features to access this first you need to turn off the power then press and hold the ok button and turn it on the power you will see this 0 1 2 is cycling like this and uh, what you have to do if you say turn on the zero feature which is the cycling which means it will cycle the voltage current and the power one by one you don't need to push this button the first mode will uh, show the extra uh, parameters like the power then watts per hour voltage current and like that then the second feature is that your output will be automatically enabled at when and the second feature is that when you turn on this power supply your output will be automatically enabled so I'm going to turn it on the second feature and as you can see it is Y it means it is turn on now if you turn it off the power supply and turn it on you can see the output is automatically enabled if you want to disable the features then press the ok button and turn on the power and let it go the key and it will be disabled the second function is really useful which enables you to see the power and watts per hour accumulated capacity one thing i didn't like about this power supply is that the, the buttons you have to push it many times to turn up and down the voltage you can easily solve this problem by using this rotary encoder it has this middle push button and you can access the rotary encoder onto these three terminals you can directly solder this rotary encoder onto these pins right here and it works fine hence the 3 amp version of the same power supply it has the same features but it can only handle 3 amps ok guys so at 18 dollars you can get tons of features in this power supply you can get the voltage control current control and you can lively monitor the voltage current and the power it's pretty nice and tell me what do you think about this power supply in the comments down below guys and please give it a big thumbs up if you like this power supply then check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching peace goodbye how you can make such a small power supply that you can fit in your pocket and it can fill supply in between 1.5 volts to 35 volts with voltage control and the current control